you went through something publicly. Yes. And you felt probably embarrassed and angry. I mean, what was the biggest emotion you were going through? Shock. Okay. Because I found out that my, you know, and, and my marriage was ending in the National Enquirer, which is not really how you want to find out about it. And it, you know, it was horrible. It, I just, I felt, you feel unlovable, unworthy. And if you fight back, you feel more unlovable. So you just, it was so just this tunnel that you went down. How long did you feel, and do you still feel, anger? On, honestly. Sometimes, but I think that as women, we're not allowed to feel angry, and that drives me crazy. We should be allowed to feel angry. Well, but to a certain degree, I mean, yes. the thing about it is, it's totally understandable to feel angry, but holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Well, no, exactly. That's, that's my point. Like, it's okay to be angry and to get it out, but you can't get bitter. What about thinking that you're just going to be alone forever? Do you have that, ever have that feeling, or did you feel like it was empowering and you wanted to be alone? You know, some people, some people are okay with it. I had both. I, I, you know, it took me about a year, and then I had to stand on my own two feet and get a job and support the family because I wasn't being supported, and that was empowering. And I didn't even really think about the male equation. It took a little while to think about if I wanted to be with somebody else because I was so badly betrayed. It did take a while. And did you see any of this in your head? Like, was it a complete shock? Or some of you says, you know what? I'm not totally surprised that this happened to no. me. I was completely shocked. Because when you call up somebody and say, oh, yeah, my husband just left me for Tori Spelling, people laugh and people cry because they don't know if it's a joke. Okay.